Hello everyone, I am Shubham and today I am going to show you my own version of Conway Scheme of Life. So let's start it. The first question which arrives is that what is this Scheme of Life? Well, the answer is very simple. It is a computer program created by John Conway in 1970s. And the rules are very simple. First, it consists of a 2D grid which have two states, either dead or alive. The grey boxes here represented the dead boxes and then we click it and it becomes yellow and the yellow boxes are the alive boxes which are live the rules are if there is a live boxes and it has no neighbor or only one neighbor then it would die due to solitude or if it has more than four neighbor then it would die due to overpopulation only this alive box would be alive if it has only two or three neighbors and if there is a box which is dead but it is surrounded by three live cell then it would also become live like here this center box it is surrounded by three live cell therefore it would become live so this is a simple reason and it gives rise to the very large and complicated structures so let's start it and see what it begins first increase the speed and start it just vanished there are many patterns here. We can see glider, small exploder, exploder, ten row. Start with the glider, and it is the basic pattern which you can see here. And let's start it. You can see that this cell it has only one neighborhood here, and there is no one in his neighborhood except this. So it would going to die. And this block it has three neighborhood which is alive therefore it is also going to become alive you can see it is alive and it is now dead and this continues forever and you can see this it is going diagonally downwards to infinity and it's not only the case there are a lot of other patterns like the small exploder which just explode and then it becomes constant and the exploder which continue to repeat its pattern infinitely or the tensile row wait a minute let's clear it and see the tensile row so this is the first generation and the next this is the second generation third fourth 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th and then it continued to became the original pattern after some generations and then we have the lightweight spaceship it starts to move right infinitely so let's increase the speed and see and now it is going to infinity and the next one is a tumbler and you can see it is oscillating up and down up and down up and down let's slow the speed so you can see it this is going up then down then up then down and the last one is the most complicated one the gospel glider gun and it is my favorite so before i'm going to show you this let's see mine game of life well it is not visually appealing but it is to it do all the things that this can do so let's start it in the front page it has two options either custom or predefined the custom allows you to input all the points manually and then run the program but i have saved some pattern which you can see here in my program so we can use it directly so this is my program and let's go to the predefined section and we have the seven different patterns which I have stored here let's start with a glider number of generation I say uh, 50 speed 100 so that you can see it and this is the first generation let's see the first generation here of glider both are almost same 
and then let's start the program you can see it is going downward diagonally like as we have seen here just start it and it is also going down oops I think we have crossed the 50 generation let's move another predefined we have small exploder number of generation this time 100 speed 100 this is the first generation let's see it here stop it small exploder start and this exploded and constant let's start this exploded and now it is constant so here you can see that every pattern which are here is also represented in here and after this generation it has almost become constant you can see generation are moving forward but the pattern is not changing so now let's head directly towards the gospel glider gun number of generation thousands speed 100 milliseconds and this is the front and let's see it here gospel glider gun and you can see it has just started clear it then start this is the both the two programs let's make it small so that we can see this so we can see that both oops so let's start it you can see and long start it You can see that this is producing a glider and it continues to produce a glider if we increase the speed you can see it is producing gliders yeah and all the gliders are going vertical down to the infinity and here it is also producing a glider this is the first one the second one the third one the fourth one mm. generally my program is slow because of the large comparison going here you can see that this is the grid of it is a grid of 39 by 50 and each grid is there are 1950 block here and each block has eight neighbors and it checks all whether it is alive or not so it is 15600 comparison just for one slide and it is we and we are doing it for thousand generation therefore just multiply it by thousand and you will get the total number of generation comparison sorry so you can see it is going to infinity slowly so that's all for today thank you for watching